Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus AEW Rampage. This is from October 22nd, 2021, uh, and this was a good one, maybe a great one. Um, really, it's how Rampage should be structured, and they should continue to do it this way. Yes, it was the three matches. They put the uh, the one that was potentially the weakest in the middle. Um, they opened with something strong, but they let the main event really feel like a main event, and they gave those guys time, and it was um, one of ambiguous, we didn't know who was going to win, which is a rarity on Rampage. Most of the time, those matches are foregone conclusions, and that's a problem. Uh, and then they ended with an angle um, that got the crowd fired up. It was really great to see, and they really need to do more of this. And the crowd was hot, which tells me that they weren't worn out from... Um, looking at a long thing before that's something else that needs to be considered because it makes a big difference then again uh, they did tape this from the james l knight center in miami florida so obviously it was taped before but again the crowd was just more into it that is a great crowd i've seen shows at the james l knight center for aew um, and they were just into this whatever they did they need to continue to do this kind of thing we opened with the aew world title eliminator tournament we got orange cassidy against powerhouse hobbs powerhouse hobbs not only has improved by leaps and bounds he always gives you something in a match that you've never seen before i remember him throwing that one dude into the post in an original way and it looked really really cool this one was him picking up the referee carrying the referee and putting him in the corner and looking really heated about it and that's a small thing um but i just thought it looked really 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 good um i like this story that cassidy though he was trying to hit him with the orange punch, realized that the only way he was going to be able to take down Hobbs was to basically pin him in a clever way. And he most certainly did this really great version of the mousetrap, um, pins Powerhouse Hobbs and advances. Cool with me. Um, they show how FTR pulled a fast one on Penta El Zero Miedo um, when they won the AAA titles. And this time they do it again. They have two guys in masks, um, similar to the ones that they wore, when they were the Super Ranas um, and won the AAA title. And um, so when they unmask them, they realize, oh, it's somebody else. And FTR attacks from behind. And Tully Blanchard laying out Alex Alejandrez was extra super cool. Um, people who are worried about FTR in AEW don't be. And clearly they're setting up a rematch between these two teams where they should be able to really go at it full bore, probably for a pay-per-view or a bigger um, dynamite show. And I am here for it, as the kids say. Next, Anna Jay against Britt Baker. Britt Baker really had to have her working shoes on. Uh, Anna Jay is still green as a uh, goose shit. Um, handles herself quite well here. The commentators were working overtime to say how good Anna Jay was. The truth is she's very stiff um, and she's has trouble doing two things at once, meaning if she's wrestling, she has trouble projecting the right kind of character. Um, if Anna Jay is supposed to be a baby face, I need to feel that shit because I wasn't feeling that shit. But Britt Baker had her working shoes on, knows how to work the camera. Total, total pro. Um, carries her to a decent match, gets the lock off for the win. And I was glad to see Anna Jay tap out as opposed to pass out. Um, Anna Jay doesn't deserve to pass out. She should tap out. Um, so it is good stuff. And they beat her down until Tay Conti makes the save, uh, setting up a thing for later on. Um, we, uh, it shows that people don't really pay attention to the show often um, because on recaps that I read, because I was making sure that I got all the little in-between match segments correctly, um, people were saying like, oh yeah, and then Mark Henry does this thing. It's normally Mark Henry's segment, but this time it was Tony Schiavone, and I don't know how everybody missed that. What the hell? Um, in any case, it's another great thing where... Uh, Andrade, I think, does his best little promo that he's done in AEW so far, and then Pac has his thing to say, and then they proceed to tear it up and have a fucking great match. Um, Pac manages to win this match, but then the lights go out. I love that they gave us a finish and not just a cheap way of Andrade getting out of being pinned, but they did take our eye off the ball out of realizing that he got pinned entirely because out came Malachi Black um, laying him out, and then... Uh, and then Andrade kind of joins him with the beat down. So it's, you know, we don't know if they're teamed up or what. Arn comes out, does the gun gesture, and then Cody comes out and fires up. And the crowd was all for Cody. Man, AEW, 
uh, I'm not saying that they completely turned the tide on the, the wave against Cody, but this was certainly a move in the right direction, and if nothing else, it was exciting.